What's that language you're speaking? What's that food you're eating? What's that music you're playing? Well, what are those clothes you're wearing? What's that perfume? This is cultural warfare. Culture warfare. Yo, ball, and you don't care. Cultural warfare. Sorry I'm late. I got a ticket coming here the studio. Look at that. A ticket. A ticket. I haven't had a ticket in two weeks. So uh, the cop stops me. A state trooper. There you go. He went. Well, didn't you see that stop sign over there? I said, yes. But why didn't you stop? I said, officer, I don't believe everything I read. Well, you're going to believe this. That's a $500 fine. So I'm kind of in a bad mood. So let's get the show on the road. Today we're going to be talking about buttons. I've collected hundreds of them. Most of them, I'm going to pull one out at random. See what I get. Let's see what this is. Ooh, look at this one. It's a very obscure. It's supporting the Southern African freedom fighters uh, during the apartheid, and that was way back in the seventies. I used to go to anti-apartheid rallies. So let's get the agenda going. Here's a collector's item. And it was given to me by my Aunt Norma. This is from 1940s Franklin Delano Roosevelt campaign button. You notice there's no words or no text on these things. Everybody knew who he was, so they knew it was to be re-elected for president. His opposition was the Republican Thomas Dewey. Now that that that's a collection. Sometime in the 40 I haven't I haven't uh, researched when this was, so take my word for it. Got a lot of buttons here. This is from my hippie days. Keep on trucking. Remember that guy? Keep on trucking. I think it was R. Crumb who did the... I don't know who did the character. I, I'm pretty sure it's R. Crumb. But I got that in a head shop on Fairfax back in 67. And let's see what else we got. Aha! Rock Against Racism. I got this in the late 70s. I was a coordinator of a Los Angeles chapter of Rock Against Racism. This happened in New York. Okay. I got this from an anarchist bookstore in New York. Now, that explain. I don't have to explain what that means. Okay. Ooh, Patty Smith. Yeah, Patty. I got this in '75. I forgot where I got it. Anyway, let's do something. 
This is back in 1969. This is the Black Panther Party. And I was a supporter of the Black Panther Party. When they were attacked in December 9th, I believe, 1969, I went to protest in front of the police department in Hollywood. Ah, here's one. T-Rex. This is not a button. I saw this guy in 1973. Back here is a broken window. So I had bad luck for seven years after I broke this. But uh, yeah, I saw him in the, I saw him in Santa Monica Civic Auditorium around 73. Great concert, but my ears are ringing for a week. Now, oh, here's one. My former band. Benedict Arnold and the Traders. We see it get my fat fingers in there. Yeah, Benedict Arnold and the Traders. That was my band. And uh, around the 70s, I was living in the neighborhood of Fairfax, and it was predominantly Jewish uh, neighborhood. Some right wing group called the Jewish Defense League came, and they started to patrol the neighborhoods to protect the elderly from crime. So here's the Jewish Defense League. I had a lot of debates with those people. Oh, here's one. This was my sister's. I love the hermit sermons. I'm glad I took it. She didn't know. There it is, 1964, this thing came. But, oh, here's one. Jesse Jackson ran for president in 1988. I was a supporter. There he is. Obviously, he didn't win. Okay. That's too depressing. Here was this... I think it was 1970, John Lennon was passing this out. War is over if you want it. I don't know how I came across it, but I really don't remember. I can't remember everything. Ah, DOA. That was my friends from Canada. They were a punk band from Canada. Good guys. Good guys, indeed more more black panther party seize the time ah vietnam veterans against the war uh i actually met ron kovic in the they had a office i think it was on pico and uh, he came and he held my arm for some reason when he was he looked you straight in the eye when he talked and uh, I'll never forget that encounter so they made a major movie called Born on the Fourth of July oh here's one I ran for uh, council in 1977 guess what I lost wonder why okay we're getting close to the end here's the yippies I was a yippie around that time and uh, this was our um, this was our flag that was the new nation flag we were gonna replace it uh, replace the American flag with this one it's the black flag of anarchy uh, the red star symbolized communalism and you know what that plant is if you don't you shouldn't be watching this and finally the Kent State when it happened I bought this that was a terrible day right 1970 May 3rd finally did I did I say the peace and freedom party I was the central committee, the uh, county central committee in this party for about four, five years. So, 
in the 70s. Now, finally, my favorite one. No, it's not. It's just the last one. This is from the Communist Party USA. Is anybody watching? Okay, anybody here? <laughs> okay, no. Okay, we're clear. This is Gus Hall running for president in 1976. The Communist Party. And you know something? I don't remember who I voted for in 76. What was it? Uh, was that Jimmy Carter? Who was the... Oh, Ford. Yeah. yeah. I, I voted for somebody. I don't remember who. So, that is my collection. I have much more. It would take all day to do this. I'll pick another one random and we'll call it. Up. Oh, here's a funny one. Anita Bryant sucks oranges. Nita Bryan was this, uh, who was Nita Bryan? Uh, she was a spokesman of Florida Orange Juice, and she wanted to get all the gays out of uh, public education. They were going to have a proposition in Florida, and uh, she lost. I think Aaron K. threw a pie in her face. I'm not sure. All right, and that's today. Now i got to go pay for a ticket. I gotta sell my wife or maybe my cats. So, bye bye. Don't forget to wear a mask.